Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Parrot Security OS 6, 6.4 on VMware Workstation. First go to Parrot Security OS official website and download. It is ParrotSec.org. See here at the time of installation the latest release is 6.4. Click on download. Then see here we have to select the category Live Virtual IoT or Alternative Installation Methods Docker Debian Conversion Script and WSL. Okay, I am going with live, which means it is downloading AS1, installing from the scratch. Click on it, then select the edition, security, then select the architecture, then scroll down. See here, we have to click on download. This is direct download method, but if you want to download by using torrent, you have to click on torrent. Okay, I am going with the direct download, so select download and default username and password is this one. And see here, the See, this is the version name and this is the release date. Okay, architecture. Then click on download. See, download started. Go to download. See here, it's a size is 5.4 gigabytes. I'm canceling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. Now click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are set then select next then select this installer disk image file and select browse then go to downloads and select the parrot security start for iso image then click on next then select guest OS as linux and version as debian debian latest version then click on next here provide the name for the virtual machine i'm giving parrot sec 64 vm then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on browse and select the path where you have the anos space. Click on next. Now we have to provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See this is a virtual machine summary. Okay, so see, hardware is 50 gigabytes, memory is 2 gigabytes. If you want to increase it, just click on customize hardware, then use this pointer up, or you can provide memory in megabytes here. Then click on close. But okay with all the settings, then click on finish. Now, still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, select the virtual machine from this list and click on edit to virtual machine settings. Or right click on select settings. Or Select it and go to VM and select settings. All three options are same. Or if you want to provide any description for this virtual machine, you can provide here. Okay. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Use up and down arrows. Select the first one that is try or install and hit enter. See if cursor is grayed out, just press Alt Control from your keyboard to release the cursor. Now, see if you want to use the live environment, you have to use and you have to shut down. But if you want to install it permanently, right click on this install Debian icon, then click on open. Then select the language and click on next. You can select language from the list and click on next. Select region and zone from this list. Okay, or you can select on the globe, then click on next. Select the keyboard model and click on next. See, this is a fresh installation. Select erase disk and click on next. Now we have to create our setup user. And here, we, see, this is the user full name. This is the username. Then here we have to provide the computer name or post name. I am giving. Then provide the password. Then click on next. See, this is a free installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on install. Or if you want to modify any one of these settings, then click on back and you can read. Okay. So I am okay with all the settings, then click on install. This is the confirmation. Just click on install now. See, installation has been started. This will take time. Okay. I am going to pause this video. Then it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. 
see installation completed just reboot it so provide the password hit enter see before on desktop you are having install parrot now it is gone don't want to update now get the full screen mode now open terminal increase the font size of terminal go to edit profile preferences then select the uncheck this system font then click on font then increase it or whatever you want you can then click on select close it see font size has been increased now verify the version that have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed see we have installed parrot security 6.4 and this is the name that is lorikit okay and its id is like debian so if you want to verify ip of this machine just give if config but we can also get ip address by running ip addr see this is the ip of the machine okay okay now the first step after connecting to parrot security by 6.4 is we have to update the package sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter type for confirmation and hit enter see packages are updated okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install parrot security OS 6.4 on vmware workstation okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you